SUVs are all the rage again, but every once in a while we get a reminder that vehicles to do just about everything we need can be much smaller and more reasonably priced. Now this is technically the Subaru Impreza wagon, but what it really is is an all-wheel drive, five-door hatchback that will do nearly everything an SUV will do, but with a lot less ego. How does it look? Since the redesign, this Impreza has become pretty attractive and even more so in this five-door configuration. The slightly blocky shape is served well by 17-inch alloy wheels and details like LED headlights give it a dash of premium. And of course it's blue as God intended for every Subaru. How's the storage? Now, even though this Impreza has the same exterior size as other hatchbacks from Honda, Chevy, or Ford, it's actually got a lot more cargo space. There are 55.3 cubic feet back here, which is plenty. Space for storage in the interior is ample, but not exceptional. There's a nice rubberized tray for my phone in front of the shifter, a deep bin under the armrest, and all the requisite cup holder and door pocket space that you'd expect to find in a compact car. Is it roomy? Subaru has actually done an amazing job carving out space for people in this compact car. The interior measures out larger than the segment's best sellers in just about every metric, front seats and rear. How does the interior feel? This is really a functional space that's been nicely spruced up with the addition of leather. Now, I wouldn't personally opt for a light color in my Subaru, but I do think that it adds a touch of luxury over the expected cloth. Is it well equipped? Subaru's optional EyeSight suite of safety equipment is its main claim to fame here. For $1,395, you get a pre-collision braking and throttle management system, lane departure warning, and adaptive cruise control. And you can't forget that the Impreza comes standard with all-wheel drive, which is a huge bonus to anyone in cold weather or mountainous states. Why do you think everyone in the great state of Maine owns one? How's the infotainment system? This is the Subaru Starlink system with navigation and an 8-inch touchscreen. I like the combination of on-screen controls and discrete physical buttons below in a layout that's easy to read, at least for me, at a glance. I also like the inclusion of Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, as always. Is it a good daily driver? So one thing you worry about when you hear about a CVT is that it's going to drone a lot, make a bad noise, and have sort of that rubber band feeling. And none of that is the case with this Impreza. And of course, one of the very biggest advantages for daily driving in this car is that you're getting Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive. And that means that in wet and slippery weather like this, or worse still in cold and icy weather, you've got that extra sure-footed nature. Now, on the downside, even though the transmission isn't that loud, the overall noise, vibration, and harshness level in this car is a little bit higher than you'll find in something like the Honda Civic, which is extremely refined. Certainly, even the last Hyundai and Kia products that we've been in in this segment are pretty quiet, too. Is it fun to drive? Uh, and that's about all she's got. So listen, the Impreza doesn't feel slow, but frankly, 152 horsepower and 145 pound-feet of torque out of this naturally aspirated two-liter Boxer 4 just aren't that great in this segment anymore. There are lots of turbo engines with a lot more horsepower that are more fun to drive. And though the CVT doesn't have a lot of bad behavior, it certainly doesn't make the car more entertaining either. But one thing you do see when you're sort of getting on or off the highway like we just did back there is that the handling is still pretty neat with good suspension response and decent steering. Still, if you want the fun Subaru, buy a WRX, right? How's the fuel economy? 
Subaru has come a long way with its MPG numbers, especially considering it's an all-wheel drive car. But if you're only looking to save gas, you can definitely do better. The car is rated at 37 miles per gallon highway and 28 in the city, which is worse than the Honda Civic hatch and way worse than the Chevy Cruze diesel. How much is it? Your basic Impreza starts at $18,495, with the top limited trim going for $24,695. Our car reaches nearly thirty dollars with options like EyeSight, the upgraded audio and infotainment systems, and a powered moonroof. What are the negatives? Listen, Subaru's standard all-wheel drive is both its biggest blessing and its biggest detriment. If you need it, it's great. If you don't, it means it's slightly more expensive than the competition and a little less fuel efficient. Who should buy it? Folks looking at small SUVs or hatchback shoppers in snowbelt states should absolutely test drive the Impreza wagon. It's well-packaged, it's a great size, and it meets most of our needs most of the time. 